Hey, Earth Signs. It's Nicola. So this will be for July 17th. We're going to pull from the from the Ascended Masters. <laughs> I don't know why I was getting ancient. I don't know what the fuck that was about. Let's see what messages we have for Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What message? Ooh, fertility. Ooh. So that being said, I always say this. You don't want no babies. We get fertility. Put on a condom. Or don't do nothing. You feel what I'm trying to tell you? For those of you that can't control your groins, put on a condom. Or take your pill. You know, that's what you want. Whatever works. Pull out method. If that's work, it, it don't. But, you know, hey. You feel like it works. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see what messages we have here. It says, this card signifies it's a very fertile time for you. This is an ideal time for conception of a baby or new projects. All doors are open for you right now. Your mind is fertile with many wonderful new ideas. Abundance and abundance easily flows through you. Y'all see who on there? Pawn on there. The goat. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. All right. So, <laughs> since everything is in its infancy stage, have patience with your growth process. Just nurture yourself and your projects so that you stay strong and fertile. Additional meanings for this card. You have a Midas touch. And everything is turning to gold right now. There is good news about pregnancy or adoption. I'm trying to tell you. Let go of worries and guilt and enjoy yourself. Listen. Listen. Pawn ain't telling you to go out and get pregnant now. He's not saying let go of the worries of having no baby. Because listen. You lay down and you get baby and you ain't ready for a baby. There's a lot of worries that come with that. You feel what I'm trying to tell you? With that being said, it's a good time to start new projects. But if you don't want no baby, put it on a condom or refrain. You feel what I'm trying to tell you? Save yourself. Save yourself. I see what messages we have from our earth. I'm telling you now. But it is the perfect time to start new things. So if you're ready to start something new, now is the time. What messages do we have from our Earth signs? Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Some rising to Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have? For Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Some rising in Venus. Ooh. This is for July 17th, 2019. What messages do we have? For Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Some rising in Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have? For Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Some rising in Venus. July 17th, 2018. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, right in the I got my big babies out. Got the right away, the right away, have you see? Got the big dick out. Don't you know that? Mm -hmm. As big as my head. I love these cards. All right, so let's see what we got. Underlying energy here, Page of Pentacles. Someone could be offering something of substance to themselves. This is a message that is worth some things to you. So somebody is offering a message and it's worth something to them. Um, whatever's in the message is 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 it's of value. The so six of swords. Someone's moving forward in the past. There was a transformation. I definitely see the death card right here in the past energies here. Eight of Pentacles. Someone's now work 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 work. Somebody could try could be trying to put some work in after something ended. All right. Subconscious nine of cups. The eight of swords being the outcome. So someone does still feel trapped. They're moving forward, but lacking the confidence. Uh. Wow, got a lot of swords here. So I believe someone may be sending a message, something of value. It could just be an apology here. Because um, I do feel like something has ended. Someone's wanting to move forward, but they're lacking confidence. Eight of swords here, not seeing the next step out. Like literally someone stepping out on faith, but lacking the confidence in doing so. So they, they're kind of taking that first step, but not actually moving, not actually jumping. You know what I mean? Uh, like I saw the air signs, I did get, I read, you know, I had to catch up on my comments. It was like a week's worth of comments. So I got some of them. Um, <laughs> but one of my, one of my subscribers was saying that, you know, they didn't like the way my camera does a little movie thing. I'm sorry. You know, I am trying to get me a, either another computer or another webcam. I got a camera, but it's easier for me to do them off my computer and it's just, it's easier. So I really want to do my computer, so I'll be looking for another webcam, guys. Y'all just bear with me. We're going to make it do what it do. So right now, I feel like you're moving forward, Six of Swords. What's funny, either you're moving together with someone, you feel me, or somebody moving away from you with somebody else, one or the other. So we got the Six of Swords here. Why is the Six of Swords here? 
It looked like some of y'all moving with somebody. You know what I'm trying to tell you. Can't stand any energy here. This is definitely a move. Someone out of pride is deciding to move forward, or someone is taking their pride and moving forward. With the five of wands here as lover's card, there has been some conflicts about making a decision. Um, Empress here, nine of pentacles. Someone is now, again, the Empress is all about <laughs> fertility. All right. So this someone is now with that being said, with the nine of pentacles and the lovers here, someone may be choosing independently to begin a new relationship, to move forward here. Taurus, Libra energy here. Gemini energy here. Love is here. Nine of pentacles. Someone is independently as a single person. Um, the nine of pentacles is an independent entity. So someone is independently moving forward. Um, kind of conflicted about making a decision, but they're deciding to move forward, finding motivation to move forward. So why is this death card here? Ace of Wands here. There's a new opportunity here. Someone's transforming, taking action. Okay. So maybe there was a lot of imbalances in the past two of Pentacles here. Um, there could have been some fighting. Someone is now taking on an opportunity to move towards something else. They spoke their truth. Page of Swords under heat, underneath here. Someone walked away, spoke their truth, walk away, walked away pretty quickly. From a situation, um, I see an apology, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know if the apology is coming from the same situation because whatever situation here that someone spoke their truth in is done. Death card, there's a full transformation of that, but Ace of Wands on top of the death card, I feel like there's a new opportunity here. Someone could be taking action to try to balance out a situation that may have once ended. So, somebody could be coming back to balance out a situation that maybe you walked away from. Gemini, Taurus, Libra energy. All right, so Eight of Pentacles in your surrounding energy. Why is this Eight of Pentacles here? I feel like there was some conflicts. Someone may have made some unwise choices with this under here, but now really seeing the light, seeing truth of that. Someone could have been holding on to something. Temperance here, Sagittarius energy. Someone could be trying to work things out, especially with these two together. The Eight of Pentacles with the Temperance here. This is most definitely about working things together, working things out. Um bringing things to balance, trying to bring alchemy alchemy to a situation. So someone could be trying to fix a situation, um, may still be lacking courage or still not seeing a solution. But Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Swords here, I feel like someone's trying to work through their own like mental mentality, trying to work through their own stuck mentals. That makes sense. I don't know how to say it the right way. So why is this Eight of Pentacles here? Yeah, Ten of Cups, Queen of Wands. Yeah, someone, oh shit. Someone's wanting to transform, someone's working on transforming the situation. Ten of Cups, they're really working on gaining emotional fulfillment. Seven of Wands, they may have been resisted. Someone resisted making an offer in the past. It may still be resistant making an offer. Um, so for some of you guys, if you're waiting for something, you're moving forward here, you transform a situation, you feel stuck or you feel... I don't want to say stuck because I, I do see the eight of swords as being stuck, but I feel like you're blindfolded to what for you're blindfolded on what's to come because I really feel like there's a transformation happening around you or has happened in your life or in some perimeter of your energy. And I really feel like someone is deciding to move toward emotional fulfillment and that's going to transform a situation. Um, and there's an opportunity, Ace of Pentacles, after that transformation, but I really feel like someone's trying to work. They may be resisting any of that right now because they're trying to work so we got the nine of cups in the subconscious either someone being selfish <laughs> or this is about gaining wish fulfillment why is this nine of cups that the air signs also had this why is this nine of cups here justice here it could be done with the lever here um virgo page of cups here nine of one someone could be overcoming a situation allowing their concerns to fade away so someone could be working on overcoming the situation um still kind of feeling trapped in it you're wanting to move forward, but you still feel as though you're stuck, but you're needing to allow your concerns to fade away. If you just stop caring, <laughs> and I'm being real with you, that's what it looks like. If you just stop caring, you have the opportunity, like allow your, your, you're questioning your own motives and moving forward towards something peaceful in your life, but you're working on moving away from a situation, you're working on ending and transforming the situation. So allow your concerns to wait so you can allow your concerns to fade away so you can truly transform the situation. Um, Justice here, Page of Cups here, I really feel like 
you're really trying to go within yourself to feel you feel as though it's unfair. Um, so you're in contemplation about doing this, but to gain wish fulfillment, nine of wands, high priestess, you know you have to overcome the situation. So you as an entity in your own life need to take responsibility for your happiness right now. Overcome the situation that has you feeling trapped. Why is this eight of swords here as the outcome? Why is this eight of swords here as the outcome? Why is this eight of swords here? Nine of cups here, queen of cups here. Yeah, some of you guys need... Somebody's trying to manipulate you. Um, dead ass magician here, ten of swords. There needs to be an end to manipulation. You have to stop this person from manipulating you. You have to take control of your own happiness. So in order to do this, nine of cups, queen of cups, some of you guys is a water sign that you're needing to... Um, yeah, that you've been seven of pentacles, you've been seven of pentacles, three of pentacles, that's ten of pentacles, four of swords. So you know what you need to do, but it's almost like a, uh, you're stuck here cooperating with someone, but it's keeping you trapped. The cooperation, it looks like it's keeping you trapped. So for some of you guys, you're deciding to work with someone, but it's keeping you in a position that needs to stop. It's a manipulation. In order for you to be free of this bondage, you have to free yourself of the manipulation, which you have the capability of doing, capability of doing because of the simple fact you're aware that you're in some sort of manipulation. This is awareness. You already know that you're in this manipulation, but you feel trapped by it for some reason. You just need to allow your concerns to fade away. And I'm not saying, listen, some of you guys, it's just as simple as stop caring, like dead ass. But when I say allow your concerns to fade away, it's not necessarily stopping caring. It's about only it's about weighing out what is necessary in the situation and what is not. And if it's not a necessity, allow it to be allow yourself to be free of it. Because some of you guys are keeping yourself bound in a situation based off someone else's desires. And that's not fair to you. So you have to take control of your own position right now in life and really understand that it's time for you to do something different. Time to break free. You got to allow the transformation. You can't want something to end, but then be afraid of it actually ending. So let's see what messages we have. You need to question your, check your own motives here. What messages do we have? And this is, this is if this isn't you, then someone else is, or is offering you some sort of offer. The offer is going to keep you stuck. Okay. What messages do we have? We got focus here. Breathe and breach. Some of you guys need to focus on freeing yourself. You need to focus on freeing yourself. Most definitely. As the cycle that you're in is complete. Literally. Full moon here, completion, and it may be completing today, but the cycle is complete. You need to focus on breathing and breaching, freeing yourself. Breach is about freedom. That's how, you know, when whales come up out the water and they breach themselves on, so some of y'all need to escape what you're drowning in. Save yourself is all I got. Peace out.